So here I want to introduce you to the concept of the case when function within the mutate function. Previously we saw the across function which was pretty useful and I believe that the case when function is also one that is highly useful. What it lets you do is basically apply multiple if else statements. So we've already seen the use of one if else statement with the mutate function but let's say that you want to try a bunch of different tests and instead of applying multiple if else statements what you can do is use the case when. It's similar to the SQL case when statement. And basically we're just gonna apply a bunch of tests on one of the columns. So an appropriate column that I found was the one for the number of reviews. So let's say that we wanna classify each of the reviews into whether it's less than 100 reviews, if it's between 100 and 200 reviews, and if it's more than 200 reviews. So you could do that with the case when statement. And what we're going to do is basically take our data and pipe it into a mutate function. And what I'm going to do just to make things a little bit easier is just select the number of reviews just so that we can be focused. And if I just preview this section of what it looks like, it's basically just the number of reviews. Let's add a column here. And what we can call it something like review levels. And depending on the number of reviews, this review levels is gonna vary. So here we're, we're gonna use the case when function. So I'm gonna type case when, and then to test how many reviews are in a certain row, what we're gonna do is basically say that number of reviews, let's say that if it's less than 100, or let's do less than or equal to 100, then it's gonna say something like, less than or equal to 100. So basically what it's going to do is test if the number of reviews for this one are less than or equal to 100. And if that is the case, then we're going to have a column here saying less than or equal to 100. And we're going to use this tilde. So it's going to become a little bit clearer after I kind of write the whole caseman statement and run it. But basically this is the syntax. So here we perform the test. And based upon the test, then we do something. So this something is the labeling of each of the rows based upon based upon the number of reviews. Let's do another test. Here we can say if the number of reviews is greater than 100 and the number of reviews is less than 200. Or let's actually do less than or equal to 200 then in that case, we can just give it a range of 101 to 200. And then the final test that we wanna do is basically if the number of reviews are more than 200, then we're gonna have greater than 200. And just in case there are some listings which have any other circumstances that we're not covering here, we can say true and then other. And I'm not sure what these other would be in this case, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just run this and see what it looks like. So I think everything is gonna be covered with just these three categories. But if there were something else that we are not seeing, then that is where this other label applies. And it's kind of interesting to look at how the syntax is. So for every other case, basically we write true and then the other. So if I just run this, let's see how it looks like. So we can see that for the first row, the number of reviews, it's less than 100, so it's labeled less than 100. Again, we have less than 100 up till we get to this point. So what's happening is it's going line by line, and then what it sees is this is more than 100, so it, it yields a false in this case, and then it gives a false in this case until it gets here where it's true and then so it labels this as greater than 200. So this is one interesting example. I just want to scroll and see if there's any other. So it doesn't seem like that is the case that there are any instances where something would be labeled other. So just wanted to provide an example of this. Uh, basically what we're doing is basically three different uh, if-else statements. So this is equivalent to three if else statements 
and case when helps in such cases. So as always, we're going to be using case when quite a few times in future lectures as well. Just wanted to get you uh, a bit acclimated with how to use it for a simple case, and we'll be using it later on.